The major currencies like the euro, the pound, well, they've topped. The U.S. dollar has bottomed, and I'm calling a top to the U.S. market. As a trader and technical analyst, it's pretty darned obvious that the fun and games are just about over. And if they're not right now, it won't be much longer. I mean, you just have to look at the Dow over the past 30 years. Look at the bubble. <laughs> you can see how it's gone up like a rocket since 1985. So we've gone from about $2,000 at that time up to $16,000 plus in 29 years. Uh, that's eight times, 800%. But Janet Yellen, the current Fed chairman, doesn't see it that way. It's actually the largest bubble in history. Now, that would be okay if we kept on going. But there's a problem with that theory. You see, the blue line on the chart in the bottom is volume. You can see that at the, as the last line on the right has rocketed up into the stratosphere, the volume has gone to hell. There's nobody in the market. So if we're going up, somebody needs to find a whole bunch more money and investors. However, the world is pretty much bankrupt. Just go visit the debt clock. There's never been so much debt on earth. Most of the Western governments are past the point of no return. I mean, Japan owes over a quadrillion dollars. It's mathematically impossible for them to pay down their debt. Now, the bad news is that from a technical perspective, we're predicting the Dow is going to fall as much as 95%, right down to a thousand. That's right, a thousand. Well, that's what happened from 1929 to 1932. In fact, there's been a chart circulating around Wall Street showing the similarity between the 1929 chart and today's. However, most people have been discounting it. Hey, it could never happen. It's different this time. Somehow. So, be careful out there. And in the meantime, sign up on the right for more of these videos as we uncover the truth to what's really going on and how you can survive the upcoming economic challenges.